Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We are here at Indianapolis for the 20th race, I think. 20th race of the Mountain Dew Ford One Cup Series season. After today, there will be six more races until the chase field is set. Um, first, let's get to your starting lineup. Nope, no hometown drivers this week at Indy. Um, James Shelley and Adam Rogers will start on the front row. Uh, Andrew Rich and LJ Toledo will start in row two. Tyler Merkel and Nico Tringali, row three. Martin Suarez and William Brock start in row four. And Zachary Fitzwater and Jonathan Zorland in row five. If you're noticing the reflections on the buildings or cars look a little wacky. Um, it's a new thing to help stabilize frames. Um, I'm not sure if it's also making the stuff look a little more realistic, though I'm not sure if you can really notice. Um, anyways, we're starting to learn about the way. Um, <clears throat> Colin Denton remains the points leader after New Hampshire. He has a two-point lead over Michael Amato. Uh, Edwin Mendez, 19 points back. Um, Alex Gray up a spot to fourth. He is 42 points back. And Alexander Rodana spot. He is 43 back. That's your top five in points. Bubble Drivers, Grayson Ace Vado gains five spots up to 23rd with those two wins. Has a 21-point uh, bubble over 31st in points. DJ Curtis jumped up 10 spots and into the top 30 with his win. He has two wins now with um, a 19-point cushion above 31st. Jay Barker down two spots with six points over 31st. And Johnny Gardner back up to the top 30, gained four spots at New Hampshire. He is four points above 31st. Uh, Philip Goldberg, Christoph Seth Cole still outside the top 30 all. Uh, Goldberg 33 back, uh, Daw 34 back, and Seth Cole 37 back. Go a little more in depth, but for now, let's go trackside for the Command of Fire Engines. As the command has been given, cars are going to start roll off. There you can see the reflections are a little weird on the buildings and on the cars. Um, in order to keep the same realism, we're going to keep it. It is a little wacky. I think it might just, you can call it the clouds moving off the building on a 14-year-old <laughs> game. Um, as we try to make more improvements to this game, uh, certain glitches can be expected throughout Anyways, back to outside top 30 guys. Philip Goldberg dropped two spots down to 37th in points after New Hampshire. With his one win, he is 33 points back. Dodd, two wins, is still 34 back. And Seth Cole, one win, 37 back. So those are the only three winners uh, outside the top 30 right now. Now these are your other chasers at the moment with that in play. Um, keep in note, Colin Denton and Edwin Mendes are in the chase without wins in the top five in points. Uh, Deanna Jones, Jonathan Sorlin, Nate Rogers, Zach Flickman, and Philip Parker are all currently in the chase with wins. Deanna Jones is sixth in points, Sorlin ninth, Nate Rogers eleventh, Flickinger twelfth, and Philip Parker is fourteenth. Now, the two drivers, besides Mendez and Denton, who are in the chase right now without wins, are Nico Tringali and John Arndt. Tringali is 7th in points, 20 points um, ahead of Zachary Fitzwater. John Arndt is 11 points ahead of Zachary Fitzwater now. Your five drivers behind Arndt. Fitzwater, 11 behind Arndt. He's 10th in points. Charles Jackson, 13th in points, 16 points back. Caleb Hoffman, 17 points back. Andrew Rich, 25 back and so is William Brock 25 back so um, that is your chase picture with seven races remaining as we are about to get this race underway as they come down to the start finish line 24 laps of action green flag is out we are green here in Indy and James Shelley what a start he had DJ Curtis won his second race of the season last week, breaking the Chevy win streak. Chevy with a driver on the pole looking to maybe rebound here and get a streak back going. But here comes Adam Rogers in the 99. He could be trying to give Ford a shot at a win streak as he will make his move. As you can see, these high speeds down into the corners. <coughs> as Adam side by side with James Shelley.
as the caution is already out, Adam will lead him back to the start-finish line. James Shelley second, two Dodgers third and fourth. We've talked about Dodge all year, not having any wins. And it looks like Nick Smith's got hood damage. Alexander Rose got damage. Alex Gray, two guys in the top five in points. Zach Flickinger with damage. Eric Benson with damage. Peter Sands. Sean Arndt might have a piece. Who's that guy? Oh, Seth Cole's got damage. Disappointing uh, start to this day for him. Uh, by keeping it in this clip, as these guys back up a bit, let's see if we can find out what exactly happened to cause out cause this first accident. So we're going to start with Seth Cole, who started 31st, so we might not see it. Okay, up here is the 10. Oh, the 12 and the 3 are up here as well. So let's see if the start's here. Oh, and we are 3 wide. And that usually means bad things at Indianapolis. So Flickinger, Jake Rogers, and Peter Sands are three wide. And usually this means someone's going to wreck. Oh, yeah, right here, Flickinger gets pinched from Jake Rogers into Sands. That sends them around. Emmanuel Hartnett gets clipped just a bit. And then this is where the trouble's going to begin. There's a Alex Gray. And he goes straight up trying to get around it. And he gets into Alexander Rowe. There you see Flickinger spitting, and R Gray got stuck in the wall. There's Seth Cole, John Arndt. There's Nick Smith hitting the 12. There's more damage for Seth Cole hitting the 3, and then another hit from the 41. So a huge wreck here in turn 3, involving about maybe at least 10 cars, I'd say. So a violent start to this race. We'll see who retires. This could affect the top five in points. Getting ready to go back. Green flag racing. Following drivers out of the race. Nick Smith, Alex Gray, Alexander Rowe, and Eric Benson. 38 cars remain on the track. So that's not good for Gray or Rowe. They're probably going to fall out of the top five in points after today with those poor finishes. Um, but anyway, here's your top ten rundown. Coming to uh, the restart. Five laps in. Adam Rogers is your leader, James Shelley second, Andrew Rich third, Tyler Merkel fourth, LJ Toledo fifth, Martin Tuarta sixth, Zachary Fitzwater seventh, Jay Barker eighth, William Brock ninth, and Colin Denton is tenth. So your points leader in tenth. Um, some other guys up here looking for wins that we talked about just a little off the cut line, including Andrew Rich, William Brock, and uh, Zachary Fitzwater. So, and another guy that's on the bubble, Jay Barker. So this is an interesting top 10 coming to this restart. There will be a total of 19 laps to go as we are back green. Question is, are we done wrecking? So get up to speed. Some people without damage did come to pit road. So it's unsure if some are going to try a fuel strategy game or... What exactly will go on here today at Indy? But everybody behind Tony Green stayed out. So that is what is going on. So all these guys back here are pit. So this could be interesting. There's Peter Sands, Seth Cole. And Sack Flickinger with their damaged cars, obviously off pace. Right now, Adam Rogers, James Shelley, and Andrew Rich have pulled away from Tyler Merkel and the rest of the field. Merkel had a, a kind of a bad restart. And that allowed everybody to really pull away. Unsure whether we'll see another caution or not. But I definitely think some of these guys will have to pit at least once today. Adam Rogers doing pretty good, keeping up a good pace right now. But Merkel and the rest trying to close in. Fitzwater's up to fifth. Denton's in eighth. 
as Martin Suarez has fallen outside the top 10. You can see Philip Parker, who we mentioned 14th in points. Oh, and we have another yellow. Oh, and DJ Curtis is in it. It looks like it happened in one and two. I'm not seeing anybody else really with damage. So I'm a little curious who this involved. Uh, we're going to see if anybody pits here, and then we're going to take a look. But not what DJ Curtis needed right off a win this close into the chase. That 19-point gap might as well. He might just get knocked right out, out of the top 30 again, just like that. Now we'll see where the strategy comes into play, because if these guys pit now, they should be able to make it all the way. And the leaders are indeed coming in now. Question is, is anyone staying out? Everyone seems committed to pitting. And that is the case. Everyone will pit. So let's take a look. Let's see exactly what happened to DJ Curtis. We'll keep it on this clip. Oh, wow. He's all by himself right here. Did something happen up ahead? He's all by himself right here. It looked like the wreck happened right here in 1 and 2, but apparently that is not the case. We're going to play this out. Because he had a lot of damage. Let's see, does anything happen here? Oh, oh, I think I see what happens here. Dylan Young pinched him just enough. And he's going to turn him right down the track. Oh, and he nails the inside wall. He'll come right back up. Into Philip Goldberg. So there's the damage. Goldberg didn't really spin out. He just got side slammed up into the wall. That'll most likely knock him and DJ Curtis out of this thing. And Seth Cole barely made it by. That's not what DJ Curtis needed. But with that, we'll get you back to the race restart. Get ready to go back, Green Flag Racing. DJ Curtis, the only car out of the race. Goldberg does continue. Probably really damaged, though, from that. That was some hard hits. So Curtis out of the race now after his second one of the season last week. Not what he needed at all. Uh, let's take your top 10 run now. We've got a new race leader. That is the 27 of James Shelley, your pole sitter. He leads Adam Rogers second, Andrew Rich third, Tyler Merkel fourth, Jay Barker fifth. The top four has not changed really at all today. Um, Colin Denton is sixth, LJ Toledo seventh, Joshua Sikuli is in eighth place, Zachary Fitzwater in ninth with Emmanuel Hartnett rounding out the top 10. So Dodge yet again. With two guys in the top five looking for a win. Andrew Rich has had chances at about two tracks, I think. And Tyler Merkel has had shots multiple weeks. His best shot was at Bristol where he was leading laps. And uh, that went and race ended up going to the 26 of Philip Goldberg. But anyway, pace car will come off. It'll be 13 laps to go in this one. Let's see if they can go green to the end. They should be good on gasoline. Gasoline. Green flag back in the air at Indianapolis. Top five all with pretty good restarts. Denton, the only one a little farther back. These people will start to make moves for position. Tyler Merkel, one of those guys peeking under his teammate in the 53. There's LJ Toledo trying to get by Colin Denton, but Denton with a bit of a run off turn four. Now here comes Tyler Merkel. He's going to look for third on his teammate of Andrew Rich. 
And he'll get to the inside of the 53. <coughs> and Rich will fall back to fourth place. Alito up to sixth place. William Brock now cracking his way into the top ten as Denton begins to fall back. Merkel moves up to fourth place. Shelley pulling away a bit from Adam Rogers. But Merkel, he's getting some really good runs. Barker's going to peek to the inside, but he lifts big time for Andrew Rich. And LJ Toledo is going to get a huge run. And he's going to look to the inside of Barker coming here to the start finish line and into turn one. As now Tyler Merkel making another move. He passes Adam Rogers for second place. Andrew Rich's teammate was trying to follow behind, but he'll stay in fourth place for now. But Merkel is on the move. He's got the fastest lap of the race. That was with a lot of draft, but still, he's got a hot rod in that number nine machine today. Could he give Dodge that first elusive win on the season? Now, we haven't seen Toyota a lot in victory lane either. As I look through the list, Deanna Jones, Philip Goldberg, they are the only two winners for Toyota. That is Toyota's two wins. Um, Ford has a total of one, two, three, four wins. So Ford only has four wins, and Toyota's only got two. Chevy's won every other race, so they got 13 wins on the season. So Chevy definitely it does have the most people in the, in the field, I would say, but... Definitely showing that they got skill and not just quantity. Quality drivers in Chevrolet, but Merkel is clutching up to James Shelley. Andrew Rich hanging in fourth. Probably doesn't have the best car. If anybody does, it's probably his teammate in the nine. Gained a whole nother tenth. So watch Tyler Merkel here in these next few laps. will probably try to make a go. At the 27 of James Shelley, as these top seven have pulled away from Denton and Sam at Oskin. Zach Rogers has made his way up to 12th place. So Dodge with some good horsepower here this weekend at Indianapolis. Here is the back of the field. There you see Goldberg indeed with that damage. Seth Cole flicking sure there at the very tail. LJ Toledo has made his way up to fifth place. He's also got a really fast car. As much as it would be great for the 78, as Andrew Rich is going to make a move for third place here on Adam Rogers. He will just about get to the inside as Barker's coming up to pass Toledo. And what I was going to say about the 78, that team has had such a bad season. They are, I'm not sure if they still are, but they were last in point point standings for a long time and if they were to win I don't know if they'd have time to climb up and get to the top 30 but it would definitely be something for this 78 team he will move back into fifth passing Adam Rogers who now will fall all the way to seventh with Fitzwater making the pass right here but Merkel getting really close to James Shelley he just about made a move off the corner he's gonna stay tucked in a little while longer seven laps to go here at Indianapolis Running out of time. Jay Barker up to fourth place. Toledo's got a fast car. Merkel's looking again. Barker looking to the inside of Andrew Rich. He would love to get his second win on the season. Most likely they will not catch any lap traffic. So Merkel knows he needs to make a move by himself. He's right there. He just needs to get that good run off the corner to make a move. Andrew Rich is kind of holding up these guys behind him. Shelley with a better lap that time. Merkel may be trying to get some space in between. Get some more draft built up. He's for a really tight knit here right here. This is for a top five racing here. Adam Rogers faltered back a bit. But Austin in eighth. Excuse me, Denton ninth, and Hartnett in tenth. Uh, most likely, this could be who finishes where. 
Ever since Merkel got to the back of Shelly, he has been unable to make a pass. He tried ducking low off the corner, trying to get rid of some of the 27's draft speed. Five laps to go at Indianapolis. And there's another position change going on right here. Barker is going to lose two spots, maybe three if Adam gets to him. But LJ Toledo moves up to fourth in Fitzwater. Moves up to fifth. Fitzwater we talked about just outside behind um, John Arndt for that last spot right now with the way they run until um, I, I forget if James Shelley's top 30 or not um, before that happens. But now Toledo with another pass. He's going to get by Andrew Rich and Toledo now has a shot. He just went from fifth to third in one lap and now he might try and gun his way down. He does have the fastest lap of the race him and Jay Barker with those 45 ones but there's four laps left it's gonna be tough he just lost some more ground he's got about a second of ground to gain up here and I don't know how much time he really has to do any of this Toledo with a really fast race car if maybe if the race was longer he'd have a better shot but he's definitely pulling away from Andrew Rich I can tell you that right now he's He's going to make a run at these guys. Merkel continues to slowly fall off the back of the 27. Might have used up his stuff catching him earlier in the race. If Shelly wins, he would knock out John Arndt. As long as Gardner, Barker, Curtis, and Ace Fado stay in the top 30. Three to go. Merkel gaining back a bit that time. Toledo's not got enough draft help to really gain anything. Rich is a lot slower than him. As William Brock has got back up to 10th, heartening it now all the way down to 16th. As there's a lot of side-by-side -side racing going right here. Oh, and Charles Jackson trying to cut down on the 54. Here's the field. Peter Sands has done a good job just staying in the draft. Goldberg there, you see tailing back. There's Flickinger and Seth Cole. So Toledo trying to continue to catch up as Merkel closing the gap again. He's right there on James Shelley back bumper. He could try to make a move here maybe. Two laps to go. I think this is a good time for him to make that move. In the turn one, no, he's going to stay behind the 27 for now. But he closed the gap back up. They are neck and neck on bumper to bumper. Merkel's trying to get a little bit more of an exit maybe. He's falling back a bit more now. Well, he's going to lift a bit more, maybe try and get a better run through the corner. He's wide off there. Into three and four. Into turn four, I should say. Coming to the white flag for James Shelley. Started on the pole, looking for his first win of the season and his career as he takes the white. He pulled back away three hundredths. That time by on Tyler Merkel. Oh, Merkel's getting a good run. He's there. Tyler Merkel is there. Does he make a move? Oh, I think it's now or never. If he does it, he's not close enough. Into turn three for the last time. Merkel with one last maybe ditch effort. Not going to be enough. Off of turn four. It's going to be James Shelley picking up the win here today at Indianapolis. Tyler Merkel and Dodge come up short again with a second place finish. LJ Toledo gets third. I believe that's his first top five of the season. Jay Barker, fourth, he needed that good finish. Zachary Fitzwater, fifth, needed that. Andrew Rich, sixth. Uh, Adam Rogers, seventh. Colin Denton, your points leader, gets eighth. He will most likely remain the points leader, which he needs to do. He does not have any wins. Um, Sam at Austin, ninth, and Martin Suarez got the top 10th place finish there. Next week, we head to Pocono for trucks and Meadowlands for the cup. So I will see you guys next week. Uh, well, guys... I don't know if you saw it in that clip at the end there. I don't know if it got caught, but there was a wreck 
after the finish of the race. Martin Suarez got 10th place, and he will go. He came straight across Michael Amato's nose, and he flat out wrecks himself. And this is a huge, huge lick. Amato somehow drifts the corner and saves his car, but look at this hit. My goodness. Two wheels just hanging off the track. William Brock makes contact. And now we saw there was a pack. They were side by side forever. They have nowhere to go. And Suarez got his speed completely drained. Joshua Sakuli clobbers the 14. Deanna Jones, look at this. Up and over the 31 on top of the 14. And it's not over. Jones gets clobbered by James Qualls. That sends him down into Jake Rogers, Austin Alves, Philip Parker, Edwin Mendez, Nico Tringali, and Peter Sands all with damage here on a wreck after the checkered flag. Something I've never seen. And Goldberg just flat out is going to clobber Deanna Jones right there. All the smoke, he must have not even been able to see her. And what a wreck after the finish of this race. Wow, I've never seen anything like that before in my offline career. That was crazy. I will see you guys next week. Like I said, at Metal Lens for Cup. And before that, Pocono for Trucks. That's all. Thought you guys should see this because it was so big. Um, see you guys next time.